welcome back to another video it's been ages since we've caught up at least in the land of youtube it has um we've been away for a week and we've uh, only got back a couple of days ago so this is the first morning that i've been able to get out when i haven't been working and uh, have a look around the garden and see what's what the last video that we spoke on um i was running around like a, a you know what trying to get a lot of things done that i wanted to get done prior to the holidays and i got about 90 percent 90 95 percent done of everything that i really needed to get done prior to the holidays um there's still some things that i want to get done and i'm looking around and it's oh my goodness already there is a ton of weeds there's just all sorts that needs to catch up on so first up i need to make a plan otherwise i'll just end up jumping from one job to another and not feeling like i've actually achieved much so anything that needs harvesting any weeds that need doing and any seeds that need getting in are going to be the priority. Now I'm actually in the shed. First time I spoke to you in the shed for ages as well because it was just getting used as a bit of a, a storage room whilst we were doing the greenhouse project and other things that were going on. I'll have a look in the greenhouse with you next. Um, by the way, I've got a little, well, I'm saying I've got an update. I want to have a look and we'll have the update together because I haven't been in there. Um, my dad's very kindly been looking after the place whilst we've been away. And so he said, oh, there's quite a few tomatoes and things. So get them eaten so we'll do that next um, but for now I'm in the shed we have got this shed sorted again so I can sit down and do my seed sowing I've got the seeds out everywhere because I want to get all of the autumn and winter seeds in I did get a few in before we went and I managed to get some potted on so we'll have a look at those in the greenhouse shortly too um, but it's very very windy outside so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to start chatting with you in the shed because you can't always hear me of the wind so we'll go and have a look in the greenhouse first I'm gonna have a little wander around make a plan and then we'll see where we get to in the garden this weekend it's that really strange sort of weather where it's super windy but it's really warm so I'm already too warm in this um, in this fleece. You can see how windy it is, my hair's all over the place. Right, so I did pop in and just have a quick look the other day but I was in here for just a few seconds just to make sure everything was okay and it was. Um, so things are going to need watering so I'm going to do that and I'm going to remember not to water whilst I'm talking to you so that you can actually hear me <laughs> instead of just hearing the water. Things are looking good, let's have a little look together. Okay, so these are the brassicas that I potted on. They were pretty much this size. And look at the amazing difference between these just went in here because they were quite small. These were only slightly bigger than these, but look at the difference of how the ones that have gone in this size pot to this size pot, how much they've been able to grow. I think that's fascinating. So the pot definitely hinders the growth, which is obvious, but it's nice to be able to, to see that visually. I've got a few other bits of tarragon and things that I showed you before. Pineapple sage is looking a bit um, dry, so I'm going to get, because it's been two days uh, since my dad watered. He did give everything a good soak um, before he left, and I haven't since. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. Tomatillos, looking a little bit, um, before I went away, I noticed they were looking a bit, little bit yellow, so I'll probably give those a feed. And then over here, we've got the tomatoes, which there's loads ready. Look at these. They're the uh, Bloody Butcher variety, those are. These are the Plum Tomatoes, the Super, no, the Big Mama. Those ones, and these need, definitely need a watering. So I'll get to doing those first. A couple of things that I bought before we went away were these really good cucumbers. These little uh, purchases here didn't really come to anything. They were just on offer. Uh, so we'll see if they overwinter or not. And in here, we've got the basil. Look at that, that wasn't there before I left. That's coming through fantastically. So I just did the, the outskirts with that one. And all those tomatoes are looking fantastic. This one here, look, this is called Country Taste. That's not any Blossom End Rot, that's just because it's a beef steak, so they have the kind of the funny bottoms on them. Oh, look, Black Russians, doing really well. There's the old cockerel having a shouting at us. So these are already, look, the surpassing the tops of the canes. So I'm going to have to get the cane sorted out. That one there especially is uh, dangling over. Windows open, so there's, there's quite a breeze. Brilliant. These are looking really good. Sorry, I'm just looking and uh, not talking there. But Okay, so this at the back here is also, this is a melon, um, which I just, if you remember rightly, I just popped them in to see how they do. They're not looking very far on, so they probably won't come to anything, because to be honest, they should have fruit on them by now. Oh, this one snapped. I saw the black Russian, but I didn't, uh, the tomatoes, but I didn't, oh, it's not snapped. Okay, that needs a much longer cane. And obviously when I put that cane in, um, it was only a small plant. And there's quite a few here to uh, harvest as well. Fantastic. So first things first then, I'll get everything watered in here. Um, oh, let's have a quick look in the polytunnel. 
to see how things are going out there um, and I'll get everything harvested from in the greenhouse that needs harvesting so we don't lose anything. There's some really good, can you see where are you down there, there's some really good tomatoes there. Um, they were actually in the greenhouse and I just put them outside so they haven't grown that big and that fast outside. Um, wow, loads of tomatoes in here, they are not red though, let me show you these. So in here we've got absolutely loads of tomatoes coming through these peppers are looking really good they've come on leaps and bounds in, a, in just a week well nine days so these are looking really good oh they're touching the floor i might have to get those off the floor so nothing eats them no red ones in here though but very very wow look how many there are on here that's brilliant okay so i'll get these taken care of and watered as well and we've got uh, the ground cherries Cape gooseberries, look, didn't see these. Look at that. Nothing inside it though. They just they just need to be squished, don't they? How lovely is that? I don't even know if we like them. Well, somebody will have to. And then these ones at the back we're just letting romp away. Look at that nasturtium. That was a self-seeded one. <laughs> you go for it. Okay, so. Oh, what is that wasp doing? What's it got? Okay. So, definitely get everything watered first. Um, I've got some carrots that I sowed. Hopefully you can still hear me. And they were in here, if you remember. I wanted to get carrots and beetroot sown and swede sown um, before I went away. I've literally got four carrots have germinated. Um, there might still be time yet, I'm not sure for those ones. Maybe I need to re-sow them. Now in this bed here, we've got some germination of the, um, the beetroots, so that's looking okay. Now, what, these ones I wanted to sow more thinly um, because I wanted them to uh, to grow quite big. <laughs> now, I've also got the gowry swede. I wasn't sure if that seed was viable, but I'm definitely gonna have to send these because I've gone a bit crazy with them. Um, obviously, swede's gonna need quite a bit of space. Right, I'm gonna get started with watering the greenhouse and then we'll catch up after that. I'm literally getting rained on in the greenhouse. So these are the tomatoes that I've got so far. Looking very good. Oh my goodness. Everything's getting drenched. I can, it must be coming at an angle where it's just getting in the cracks in the greenhouse because it normally doesn't leak like this at all when it's raining. But oh my, it's sideways. Even the ducks are hiding. They're hiding under that tree. There was no warning on that one. No warning at all. Well, that bit of thunder lasted for 15 seconds. <laughs> I think it's easing off. The thunder and lightning has started, um, but I do think that it's passing. So I can see light skies if we go over here without getting dripped off too much. Greenhouse is um, condensed air fog enough. It is light over there, but oh my goodness, what a storm. I do love a good storm. Um, what I'm carrying on with while this is happening, and I'm thinking, I haven't even got the pipe set up to catch the wash, but anyway, I'm going to get the rest of these tomatoes because there's some little cherry ones down there. I think, I think they're the sun gold. Yes, they are. These are the sun gold. They're looking fantastic. Oh, that one's a little bit overripe, but they will taste really, really sweet. I was so wrong. I need to go and check on the animals. The sheep are hiding there. Okay, the horses. The horses look okay. My goodness, it's rained and then stopped and then... That's the thunder. Wow, Mother Nature is seriously knocked off. <sighs> Actually got quite... Um, quite nervous in there. 
horses are in the distance they're okay and the pigs aren't running around at least they're, they're not running around the field so oh my goodness gracious me biggest lightning strike literally just before I pressed record. I'm so glad I've got rubber shoes on. <laughs> oh the sheep bless them they've come to see me. Girls what's happened? <coughs> Did you hear all that noise? Were you frightened? It's okay. It's okay. Everybody well? Everybody okay? Hello my darling. Are you okay, sweetie? I know, you're going to run away if I try and stroke you. Oh, we're staying for a stroke. You'll be frightened today. It's still going up. Okay, everyone's safe. This is supposed to be a gardening video. Ooh. I'm going to get the rest of the tomatoes whilst the rain has I don't know if that's coming across on the camera. It sounds like it's coming from literally that cloud there. This is flooded. Right, I'm going to get the rest of the outdoor tomato. Let's check on the ducks. Flooded. We're checking on the ducks for the ducks. Yeah, they're all right. All right. They're quite happy through there. Where are the other chickens? Oh my God, this is... Why don't you go in your coop, you big daft thing? Wait, have you been kicked out? All the girls are in the coop. He's under there. You're keeping an eye on them. Oh heck, what are you doing up there? Oh, and look, the cows. Can you see through here? Are you all okay? Oh man, I hope nobody's jumped any fences. So unprepared for that, okay. Not as in unprepared something's happened, just... see through there the cows are literally there while I'm here try not to go ill the tea look at these how good are those cherries right let's make our way back it's not stopping does thunder normally go on that long that one wasn't as bad at all I swear the one previous to that gave me a little fright. Are you okay, miss? The rain has stopped. It looks. So... I don't think it's coming across on the camera as loud as it is. It was actually a little bit frightening at one point. Um, the power's gone off in the house. Stay's fixing it, he thinks something's just tripped, but I'm checking the dogs. Our littlest, or one of the little ones, is uh, struggling because he's he's just like that. Um, I'm going back out the gate while I'm talking to you, sorry. Everybody else seems okay. The thunder is showing no signs of going away, but it has eased. It's like literally blue skies over there and black skies over there. What a strange, strange day. Anyway, I think, I think it's past. The worst of it now so i'm going to get back to what i was doing these bowls were empty i brought them out they were empty and just like that it's as if it didn't happen so i'm going to go around and harvest whatever i can harvest now um there are white butterflies all over the pond the kale it's quite windy so i'm not going to talk too much out here let's have a look at the beetroot now this beetroot was sown direct i think if i remember rightly so 
I'm quite happy with that size. That's probably the biggest one that's on this row, but I'm going to go through and harvest them because um, the ones that are smaller, I'm going to leave and any of the big ones I will put into some storage. These aren't the winter beetroot. These are going to be for fresh use. So when I say storage, I just mean for, for using over the next few weeks. These beetroots were sown a lot earlier than these ones and these ones. So I'll just keep this rotating. I've also got new beetroots sown in there as well. Still got my holiday band on. I need to get that taken off. And that is a self-seeded nasturtium, which I shall leave. The marigolds that I got before the holiday, I didn't have a chance to get in, but they are flowering lovely. So I'm going to pop those in for a bit of colour in a few different places too. Got a few strawberries from this first bed here. A lot of them had already gone mouldy, unfortunately, so they have gone straight into the compost. And this bed with the bush variety of tomatoes in has gone crazy. Um, right next to the garlic bed, that needs some attention for the ones that I didn't harvest. So I harvested the garlic and the onions um, before the holiday and I said I'll get some after, so I'm going to get those. It's not ideal because it's a wet day. Um, the sun's in and out but I need to get them out of the ground and then I want to get some other things sown um, but also this bed here is going a bit bonkers. <laughs> the bush tomatoes that I was uh, just talking about when I got distracted talking about the onion and garlic there's also comfrey showing itself in here but I've got a plan for that I'll tell you in a second and these parsnips are coming on an absolute treat so these are just I'm so pleased with these because I didn't think any of them had come on um, the tomatillos trying the hardest given how shady it is and there's plenty of tomatoes on these other variety, varieties as well. So I'm really pleased with how these are doing to be fair. Hopefully it's not too windy um, but you can't hear me. So the comfrey that's in here, I've got a friend on Instagram who has really injured her toe and put a call out and said has anybody got any comfrey that can send me? Now by the time it gets there, toe might have healed but I think it's still nice to be able to work to help out where we can and it'll do me a favour because it'll do with the comfrey that I'm taking out of this bed here because it's not supposed to be in there so I'm going to get that and I'll show you at the end I'm not going to leave the camera on because it is super windy <laughs> look at the state of me so this is all of the comfrey in the roots that I've taken out guaranteed I will not have got it all comfrey comes back in that patch all the time even though we've tried to take it out numerous times so I'm going to get this straight off in the poster and we'll come back and see what the weather's like there <laughs> Well, I'm back, I've dropped that off at the post office and in between rain showers, I'm now out harvesting out the rest of our black currants. So I did manage to harvest some before we went away and I did think they're probably all gone, the birds are gonna have them all, but there are tons left, I'm so pleased. So I'm gonna get these black currants first and I'll work down to the red and the white currants. There's gooseberries, there's raspberries, there's all sorts of good goodness to be harvested. Um, Stephen is working on the tree and the polytunnel project that we've uh, mentioned before and this won't be done for a long time. It's like literally we need to clear all of this ground here and we only get weekends. Stephen only has like two weekends a month when he can do any of that work. Um, so it's going to be done over time and I'll keep you posted on all of that. But I'm going to get all of these black currants harvested. I've already got quite a few in my little uh, Christmas chocolate Christmas tub and uh, I think I'll be here for some time. <laughs> You might know if you follow us on Instagram that shortly after taking this video, I came down with a really sore throat and something else. Goodness knows what I've brought back from holiday, but I've really not been feeling too well. So I didn't get to finish the video off in the way that I wanted to. We did have a third storm on the same day, which you can see Stephen running in from now. So I thought, let's just end this video here and we will catch up very, very soon when everybody is a little bit more back to normal.